Toronto's housing market has started to turn. Tonight, City News had the opportunity to speak with a few real estate agents who've been very honest and frank with us about what they've seen happening in the market over the past couple of weeks. Now, they say that they are seeing a weakening in demand in certain parts of the city, just not necessarily here. And here is the, the Old Mill neighborhood. I am now inside a home that has only been listed for, well, less than 24 hours and already dozens of would-be buyers have come by. You could see that we've got well over a dozen real estate agents cards here on the counter and that's because demand remains very high in the Old Mill Bloor West area, just not as high as it was, let's say, a couple months ago. You could see that real estate agents are really starting to earn their commission now. We've got a whole array of drinks and candies and, well, very flashy, glossy brochures that are pretty much all over this home. Part of the reason is because bidding wars, while they are still somewhat out there, well, they're just not nowhere nearly as fierce as they have been in the past. And well, that's pretty good thing for some buyers. The sellers who sold in March, I think made out like bandits, they did really well. But I think today in the April, May months, mid April onward, things have changed. So prices, even what people are attaining before, some sellers aren't getting that today. Sam McDaddy has been in real estate for nearly three decades. He says there's been a shift in the market since the Liberals announced their plan to cool the GTA housing market. We even felt it a week before the legislative changes came out. We saw people were kind of having the wait and see attitude to see what was going to transpire. And after after it came the budget or I guess the changes came out a week earlier than we anticipated, the market really shifted. Since yesterday, we've repeatedly called and emailed the Toronto Real Estate Board to see if they've tracked the last three weeks. They haven't responded. But the average cost of a house in the GTA dropped by about $10,000 between March and April, a dip that's even more pronounced in the 905. David Fleming says the shift in the market is happening downtown too. There are far fewer offers in uh, offer nights when there are multiple offers instead of having 10, 12 in February, March, we're seeing two or three now. Uh, that in turn has had a little bit of an effect on price. That's because bidding wars are starting to become a lot less like wars and a little more like negotiations. Sellers before used to severely underlist, whether it was house or condo, you'd see multiple offers ensue and you'd have a ridiculous sale to list ratio. Now we're moving towards a trend, not right across the board, but a heck of a lot more sellers listing at fair market value or what they're actually willing to accept. Which means some houses are staying on the market longer than they would have in the winter. For example, this home in central Mississauga has been on the market for 29 days. McDaddy says if it was listed in February, it would have sold in about five days. He says this $1.5 million home just a few blocks away would have sold in less than a week. Instead, it's been on the market for 33 days. If you were going to buy and you were going to buy in March, now represents an opportunity to get in at a bit of a lower price. Part of the issue, supply. Last month, there were 21,000 new homes listed across the GTA. That's a 25% jump in terms of listing over the month before. So definitely we're seeing an increase in supply and with that comes far more options for buyers.